we frozen? Oh, <laughs> fuck, we're frozen too. Are we frozen? Are we proper frozen? I don't know. Our audio <laughs> should be working. <laughs> Our audio is working, no? Send me back. Yeah. We just hide ourselves. Welcome to the PAX. What's going on over there? Oh, I'm in the settings, dude. <laughs> well, it's the oh. show here. And I went back. Oh, maybe I didn't. But it was working that whole time. Uh, <laughs> we're frozen then. Still frozen. Okay. Kill the audio, baby. <laughs> we'll be right back. Right back soon. Yo! <laughs> What's up? Okay, we got there in <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need all y'all mother efforts to put in the chat whether or not we are currently live, whether we are working correctly. Yes. Let us know. That was a comedy of errors. Uh, yes. That Sorry, we like are so late. Literally an hour and a half. <laughs> actually, an hour and a half, and we're trying to stream this shit on data. So let's see yeah. how uh, <laughs> see how Optus can handle our uh, our intense stream over here. But. Welcome to Spawn Respawn. Oh. We are here in Melbourne for yes. PAX Australia. What a day. Day what one. A day. day one of three. Yeah. I Huge. feel as if it has been life changing and life affirming for many of us here. Yes. We've, we've learned some things today. We've, uh, we've grown wiser and we got to play some fucking video games. Oh. Dude. Did we not? Yeah, yeah. We did, did and we got to games. see. Let's get to that later. No, oh, oh, we will. But you know what? It's tease. already in the title. I think you might have an idea yes. of what's coming up next. So, what? Oh, my gosh. That was insane. Hello, yes. Sam. Hello. Oh, we've got some chat. Ricky Bobby. Ricky Richard. Bobby. It's Mitch, isn't <laughs> Ricky it? Buddy. Hey, Mitch. Probably. More than we likely. We miss you, brother. We do miss you. Uh, it's a shame we don't have our fourth uh, young stallion over here to... Uh, young come stallion. In. Young stallion. stallion with oh, his, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, like, we're pretty half cut. So are we, are we? Yeah, we're over there now. Yeah, cool, we cool, are. Cool. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Sick. This is probably the most professional stream that we've done. It's nice and late in the evening. We've uh, we're 
particularly soused. I think it's pretty yes. it's pretty well done. We're getting there. Cheers, bro. Yeah, fucking tits and ants. All right. Thanks, Thanks for checking it out. Oh, oh, oh. My bottle's a little smaller, but beep bop. A little click clack, motherfucker. Let's it. go. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, so, so what, what did we do today, Ooh, boys? You might yes. even notice some of the uh, little paraphernalia we may have uh, attained throughout the day. Mm. We've got our Doom Eternal shirts and... In the middle, you might find there's something special. Oh, there's a, you may oh, even damn. see it in the title of the video. Of course, that is Cyberpunk 2077. Holy and shit. Yes, we were among the first to witness the first public showing of twenty uh, of Cyberpunk 2077. And what a time that was. Oh my God. Also, thanks JMH for checking out the stream again. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Girl. Love your uh, love your love your hustle, bro. The fact that there are beautiful people in the chat. As we begin, and as we have technical difficulties, that is... Yeah, thanks for dealing oh, with all of that. Yeah, thanks for the support, really. Brazzies. Yes, but where should we begin? Probably I mean, chronologically, I yeah, think. Yeah, the start yeah. of the day. Good call. Yeah. All right, we do have... Uh, yeah, so here's the thing. Because we're like, because we all have we're big huge dudes. penises, <laughs> oh like God. massive, meaty chunguses, <laughs> they said, you know what, boys, we're going to let you in an hour early because clearly you're better than everyone else. Because we're media. I'm just going to put it out there that we did not make the most of that. I think we were like... Oh, where do we go? We oh, we should have. We walked around and we were like, dude, what do we check out first? We should have played, and I, I'm not even a huge fan, but we should have played Doom Final Fantasy Seven. Oh, because the, li the line for that literally dude. had a sign that said, "Fucking weird." Wait in queue, sev uh, two hours. Like Legit. it was. But yeah. did you not see like when we walked past it later in the day that it was just not fucking working? <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah. But like it was working the most of the day, and it was. Mm, I, can I know wait. Tash wanted to play it, but I, like, I I'm wait. not a huge fan. But also, no, it was v There's Avengers that didn't work. Oh, dude, oh, Avengers didn't. Yeah, right. yeah, Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. We shouldn't yeah, talk yeah. shit on that. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, like, we're probably not going to play it tomorrow either because it's going to be hella busy yeah, on tomorrow's a Saturday. Yeah, sold out. So. Yeah. Legit. So what yeah. did we do first, though? What did we did first? Oh, we got a photo in the Doom. Unlocks her. So, yeah, the first thing we did was we got a Doom Eternal photo, which yeah, got us our freaking shits. Yeah, if uh, we were the first people to, first yeah. people to that, do it, that treasure hunt thing. So, the if you haven't already, hit us up on uh, what is we at Spawn Respawn on PC. Instagram. Oh, yeah, no, no, no on sorry. Instagram, and you can check out the photos that were there. I think actually you put it on uh, Twitter as well. Yes. Yeah, I think yeah, you can yeah, see yeah, us yeah, with yeah, all of sure our. Guns. Fake looking guns. All you had to do was tag some shit, and we got some free, free, stuff. Uh, free shirts, free which lutus. is pretty cool. Uh, we were going to stand in the line, but we realised the first hour of our uh, time at PAX, we didn't want to spend in a, you know, in a line and playing yeah. Doom as much as I'm keen for Doom. I was like, you know what I mean? Like, so we, we were excited. We're like a kid in a candy store. It's like this massive fucking event, and we're like, run wild, and yeah. We so just we didn't checked out the line. Xbox store. Oh, actually, we went to the Cyberpunk. Thing. We went to the we Cyberpunk store and got some free We got some free t-shirts, yeah. as you can also see there. And posters. We did. And, and that posters. was super lovely to it. Well, uh, what's her name again? Who? Uh, the, Holly. the chick. Holly. Holly. She used to host. Uh, That's her first name. It's Holly. Inside PlayStation. No, PlayStation. Inside PlayStation. PlayStation. No, PlayStation. Holly something. Bennett. Yeah, yes. she was awesome. She was really cool. She was and very cool. We got some free t-shirts and yeah. posters, which we then had to carry around. The entire yeah. day. Yeah, that's I made cool. a promise to Sam that I'd give him at least one shirt. So uh, it's not the cyberpunk uh, one. We're probably going to give you a shirt, bro. <laughs> probably. It's gonna be some. I better see a comment from you at some rate. point. Actually, where's the list? Anyway, uh, yes. So what else? Can you bring up that? I'll bring up the comments on this if Sick you want. man. The next yeah, yeah. thing we went to uh, was well, the next thing we did was try and participate in some bleeding edge gameplay. Yeah, bleeding edge. Yes, which we was did. cool. Was that literally the next thing we did? That was it. Yeah, yeah. Did I write Xbox it all down? Don't worry about it. That game was cool. I, oh, I want to yeah, play yeah. more tomorrow when it's us four Versus against else. four other people because that was sick. Yeah, that, it was, and it looked sick for you. beautiful. Yeah, it was. It, yeah, no, no, no. It wasn't just sick because like there were four of us it was and sick there were two you of you and we dude. killed you yeah, like four like, times. But because <laughs> yeah, uh, two v four, bro. I even said to you, I was just really like, this fair. has mad potential. It was really cool. You know, you start the game. Okay, how would you describe it? Is it six v six or it's like it's a four v four multiplayer? Melee game. Okay, it's like Overwatch but melee. Only, yeah, essentially. Only if you want different characters with special effects, but you start off on some form of like hoverboard or skateboard yeah. or something. Did, did everybody? Really, really cool. Yeah. I did. Ah, cool. Yeah. Who and did you play as? Uh, I played as the guitar dude. I played as the. Sick. Was it was a ninja dude in that one, or was it the? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, even the, know. the ninja I dude. Yeah, like, like the shurikens and stuff. Yeah, like they can go invisible. Yes. Yeah, me yes, too. Yes, yes. Yeah, I the don't know. The guitar dude is like fully out of Fury Road. Like he's like. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. It's like blows fire out. It's really yeah. sick. However, me and Cat were on one team, and then like f- like it was two v four, so we were kind of getting wrecked on yeah. all kinds of levels at our spawn. Like yeah, just like, like walk out the door and just like Ugh. there was nothing that we could do. It was too uh, yeah, it was too brutal. Was hey Jess, cool. welcome to the chat. Uh, <laughs> What's we up? won't be we won't be doing this forever, so we will catch up. Yeah, we? we're gonna keep this uh, <laughs> brief. Let me just. Uh, but yeah, Bleeding Edge. I've got faith for that game. I really want to play it again tomorrow when we same. go there and get a really good idea of how it feels with four people. Hell again, yeah. it's funny playing these alpha builds that don't have any, like they have sound effects, but they don't have a lot of like. There's not like ambient noise or music or anything. Yeah. It feels very empty. There's work to be done. Uh, definitely work to be done, and that's Indeed. not due out till tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Next year, <laughs> anyway. still tomorrow, dude. But yeah. we'll play more tomorrow. So it's interesting. Like I mean, it worked well. I yeah, I want to go back and play it. We'll see how it goes with four v four. But what happened after Bleeding Edge? We tried to scan a lot of QR. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was oh. a bit strange. We were running around trying to like get our cameras to scan these things. And if you follow us on Twitter, you would have seen like a shitload of posts. We I went back there at seven minutes to six. Yeah, Cat, you were number fifteen. Oh, dude, Dylan, you I were number skin? 18 yeah. and I was number 20. I was number Thank one you. for a while. What did yeah. I not well, scan? Okay, bro? just to give you some reference, there were all of these QR codes around the place. If you scan them and then you retweeted them, essentially you got points. And the, the more points you have, the higher chance you have to win a trip to London to for go XO to... XO19. XO19. Yeah. So it's an Xbox so conference. Fingers fucking crossed. Imagine if one of us got that. I mean, didn't you say we're like 18? 15, 18, 18 Yeah, 20. but I don't know how that works over the like... I'm like, not going to spend the rest of my PAX experience scanning fucking QR codes. I know. Yeah, I was wanted. like, all right, let's I'm get so real. Sick of scanning QR codes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the guys were looking at us. Was like, he, I think the dude felt, like took pity on us. He was like, okay, there's one there, and there's one over there. That actually, they were there. all super nice. All the Xbox were. people were super. And they gave cool. us free shit, so you can't complain, right? Yes, exactly. We've got some shirts and other stuff, and pins and whatnot, which is always, always. Very, very nice. Is cat drinking juice? Ha 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 ha. No. <laughs> 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 the answer is no. Why is this juice, dude? Duh. It's clear juice. But yeah, legit. All right, let's get our heads back in the game. So after that, we, we went uh, to Fall Guys. Fall Guys. Oh, dude, Fall Guys was fucking sick. And I got I'm, this fucking pink. Oh, you was, can't see it. It was oh, all kinds of good, fucking Seriously. sick. Uh, oh, God, where's my business cards? I want to shout out the uh, senior Devolver developer. Devolver Digital. Like, yeah. Those those people, the PR guy, the 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 uh, the guy, what, the media tonic developer, yes. yeah. that guy. Oh yeah, they were so super friendly. Super chill. I was, I was this close to winning, the whole like four guys like the yeah. the, the, the yeah, match we were. played. If you haven't literally, seen four guys. I jumped, grabbed that crown. Explain yeah. the game. Okay, so if you haven't seen Four <laughs> Guys, uh, essentially it's a, it's like a series of mini games, and it starts off oh, and they so told like the dev mentioned. They, they want to have a hundred people on one multiplayer game, and it's all these little mini games where it's v- very much like you, el- you, you know, you eliminate big chunks of people through each game, and it's like the last person to you know is the yeah. winner. Is, is yeah. the winner essentially? I don't know oh, like what the incentive so is, but still, if you've ever okay, this is a deep cut, but if anyone's ever played Counter Strike and if anyone's ever tried a Death Run server, or if anyone's familiar with what Death Run is, there's a lot of that inspiration in uh, in Four Guys, but. Fuck, Elliot was killing it hard. We were playing together. Um, uh, you came out on top of me. Like we had four games. It was that was tail one that you got knocked out in, and Cat yeah. was watching me. And like, I found this it's spot true. when no, when no one was around. So you have to steal like a tail from yeah. everyone that's running around. And you to qualify, you have to end with a tail. Yeah. So and you I, like press right trigger to steal the tail. To grab the tail. And if you have a tail, you ran a little bit slower than everyone else. And I was running around and I like found this spot and I just stood there and I was spinning around. I was trying to do the emotes and shit. Spinning the wind. And then someone came and Kat's like, watch out! And yeah. I'm like, what? And ran away. I was like, 10 seconds ago, like 15 seconds ago. I'm like running around like, oh my God. Dude, <laughs> it was in so that game, fun. And you won. And then I literally, it was literally one second until the, the game yeah, ended yeah, and, and someone you lost your tail. pinched my Oh, really? Tail. Oh, I'm damn. Serious. You know biggest what else, rort. Though? Fucking biggest rot, man. I'm they, done. Um, they, <laughs> done. They debuted a new level that hadn't been mm. seen yet. Uh, the Pax. wall? Was that the yeah. wall crashing one? So I'm sure everyone's familiar with this. No. Everyone. But those, um, <laughs> 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 go on. those like TV game shows where the wall comes yes. towards you and you got to match the silhouette yes. to go through the wall. It's like that, but heaps sort of. But on, simpler. on fucking crack, bro. It was like, it was insane. Well, I mean, there's a hundred people trying to fit through them, but it's not, it's not. And you can silhouette. push each other and around. It's, yeah. it's kind of like, you have to be tactical because like you, if you're first, you could run straight into a wall. But if you're sitting back, you'll, get pushed you'll off. see who crashes into the walls. And mm. then you're like, and you run through the gap. Like, 
So no, we're talking about different games, dude. The we're wall. Talking, we're talking about different ones. The ones where the walls dropped and then came towards you, and you had to oh, go through sorry, the Oh, sorry. I thought you meant like the. Ah, the, the, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, that the, was fun. That was like games Guitar Hero. Very similar sort of things, and then I yeah. kept saying it like you Guitar said Hero. that, and I was like, yeah. You to might. be honest, like that game. Uh, was more fun than it had any right to be is yeah. how I would describe it that was but one of the best overall the Devolver Digital they produce quality content and shout out to the dev that was there mate I'm sorry I don't have your fucking business card on hand because I would totally shout oh, you out oh it's in my bag yeah. He's, yeah yeah we'll do that later but anyway moving on from four guys uh, we also who, 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 we went who, to Blowfish, went to Blowfish. so Blowfish uh, Studios is that right well, before we move games? on sorry JMH yeah it oh. is pretty much a battle royale with mini games like it yeah. it's so fun as well so definitely keep an eye out for that I think it was shown at PAC uh, E3, E3 times, originally yeah. Yeah. at the Devolver show yeah four uh, guys so, yeah, check it out it's so good yeah. it's really cool definitely also lots of customization choices <laughs> and I was talking about how I loved them and the guy's like Mitch. yeah we're just gonna keep adding more and oh, the more customization more. was sick and did yes Mitch we <laughs> did enjoy a battle royale game surprising yeah we had like well I had a pirate hat on mm. and a chicken butt like a chicken uh, butt it's really cool it was, really was good <laughs> yes so but yeah. Yeah. if anyone fish. currently Blowfish. watching by the way it went to PAX uh, shout out your your you know your favourite parts of it as well we oh, might yeah. have a little bit of a discussion we also did some definitely some other events and shit. We're going to go in chronological order, but we want to hear from you in the comments. Okay? So, uh, do it. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> what was the next thing? Blowfish. 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 Dude, that, I, I didn't know kind of how prominent Blowfish were. Like, not only are they a developer, but they are a publisher for Aussie developers as yeah. well. Yes. Based out of Sydney. Mm-hmm. And they have developers mm-hmm. all over the place. But Absolutely. Um. Dude, like I, I, I got to play. Um, I don't know. The game you played was really impressive, but I got to play. Obey me. Yep. The game I wanted to play, Element Space. They didn't have a build. Oh. Which was unfortunate, but they said they may do for the rest of the weekend. Obey me was like a top down beat 'em up. Yeah, it was like a well, it was it was almost like a stylish action game, but in isometric camera. So like almost like uh, Bayonetta or. Uh, Devil May Cry but in like an isometric view and man but like it took me a while especially without headphones and without any sound it took me a while to kind of get a grip of the game and understand the controls because it's really weird when you got no sound was the build that you were playing a little bit buggy because the one oh yeah playing, like yeah. They, they said like it was dropping it's got some stuff. bugs but um, you some and this dog it's got a bugger it's, it's like problems. you're a human and you're running around with this dog who can also attack with you and it was very Devil May Cry but not quite so flashy as Devil May Cry but there's points in the game where you can like merge with your dog and be super powerful uh, it was it was really fun it was like cruising around this isometric map it kind of reminded me of like Bayonetta crossed with Diablo and it was super fun like it was super pretty uh, yeah. and it was just loads of fun to play so yeah that hell was, yeah uh, Obey Me Obey Me so yeah, that's that's but you played pretty rad. Something we exciting. We played. You played. I, I played. did a lot of talking. Oh, did you not play? Yeah. You played Infliction. Infliction. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The the developer. Okay, so Infliction is a horror game, somewhat in the vein of PT and Layers of Fear. So it combined the ultra detail of PT, where you could like, okay. If you're familiar with PT, it's like a hallway, right? It's, it seems like a repeating hallway, but there's a lot of detail in it. There's all these little items that you can look at, all these pictures, all these things that give it this environment or the, this atmosphere, essentially, mm, right? Yeah. This had that level of detail, but it took that to the next level because you could pick up literally every item and inspect it. And that means every little DVD case, every little pill bottle, every little packet mm. of something had this like very ultra detailed writing inside of it. And you know what? The game was made by one guy That's his name crazy. was clinton uh, i don't remember his last name and i do apologize but that's sick though um, he was yeah very very cool he did it all himself he, for three years it's more about program design about game design and he just built it himself other horror ip like movies and books yeah, and, okay. and this other atmospheric content so as first person games, very much first yeah, person yeah you can you know you could walk around you could zoom in on certain things oh, you could pick cool. things up you know, turn them around. In you know, so everything was cool. a 3D model. He made that you a can ton inspect. of VHSs and stuff, and he wrote synopsises from oh. for each of them. Like, whoa! He and wow. the, the dude was so humble. Yeah, Such a and he was like, dude. just yeah. loved his craft, kind of thing. Loved Absolutely, his product. and yeah. like, and he was just happy to have people checking it out. And the thing is, um, oh, can, okay, help me out. 
Yeah, what's up? The game name is... Infliction. Infliction is available on Steam, and I thoroughly recommend that you check it out. Thank you again. Uh, oh, is it available now? It is available oh, now, and shit. I probably should have done more research, but you know what's our first pack, so give me a break. Also, <laughs> sorry, uh, Blowfish have quite a lot of games, uh, but one that's like, if you have Apple Arcade, uh, uh, Projection shadow. First Light. Yes. It's Projection. really cool. It's like a shadow puppet you, like platformer, but you use shadows to Get traverse around. the world mm. like really high quality uh and these games seem, they seem to be like a very prominent australian developer yeah and they're, they're pretty sick like like not even just developer they're, they're publishing games for smaller developers like yeah. the guy making infliction and i think that's super cool like i didn't really even i didn't realize that until meeting these guys or, or doing research meeting all of learning them. like that like leading up to packs and knowing that oh these guys actually do like way more than I would thought yeah you yeah. probably didn't let us answer the question though yeah well, what, what was you the asked reason? if he was a dev for Blowfish yes. yeah sorry so to answer your question Clinton mentioned that he developed it by himself for three years and then he was yeah. looking to uh, have it ported to other uh, to other systems PS4. so right. he was <laughs> interested in learning how to do it himself he was talking to other publishing houses or port houses as you referred to them as yeah right um, to teach him how to do it. But then he got in contact with Blowfish Games and he was like, hey, we'll do it. Yeah. And they offered to do it and take it on and, you know, have it published by him. So, yeah, sick. Uh, and he mentioned the moment when he played it on PS4 for the first time. Oh. It was like this moment of affirmation, you know, this amazing moment in which he had made it. And I'm like, good job, dude. Like, yeah. so I'm, awesome. This one individual making a game that had that much detail. It's I was amazing. very one impressed. And do. now Absolutely. he is assisting with Blowfish like as a developer with Blowfish he's with so them he's that's sick yeah yeah. yeah. that's Very so cool, cool. what a great uh, like experience like yeah. that whole publisher brand is really awesome so good on them that's it so we currently have 11 concurrent viewers right now on the stream so yeah, please thank do you not so forget much. to just keep uh, keep hitting us up in the chat baby girl we're here to talk to you we're doing this all for you so please hit us up but moving along uh, after Blowfish was there anything else from Blowfish actually um no, but we'll be back there. I'm we hoping will. they'll have an, a build for Element Space. Hoping so. Uh, and we can get an interview as well up on the Absolutely. channel. Absolutely. Yeah, we I want to play the Kung Fu one as well. Yeah. The that Kung one? Fu soccer one. I have no idea oh, what it's Kung called. They had a bunch of different uh, badges and stuff, which was hella cool. I did get a badge from them too. I got a badge yeah. too from a game that I didn't play, but don't tell them that. Anyway. Uh, I think <laughs> then we played Squidgy? Like no. Edge Cross Smash in isometric view. And you know what? I fucking sucked at that, dude. It was fun. I came out swinging, bro. I was like I smashing think you guys. And then the second game, I got wrecked. So what I think... Uh, who's luck. the developer for that? I can't even remember. But Don't ask me, man. I can't remember names. I think um, it was really fun. I think the levels need... There needs to be something more than just, like, kills. And obviously, it's an alpha build, whatever, but... Yeah, yeah. you... Like, there was items and stuff to pick up. And yeah, but it was like who there gets was the most also kills? The pie wins. to pick up and get your ultimate and yeah. stuff like that. Mm. Very similar to Smash. I don't know. Yeah. I was but I agree. Buttons. I th I liked the level with the trains on it more. Just yes. because yeah. like the, the the one that was just a square with the hedge maze, cool level, but I just ended up being ganged up on and just jumping, trying to jump over hedges yeah. and just being annihilated. Elements of like environmental risk. Yeah. Definitely um, yeah. definitely help. The dev was like, um, if you hold left bumper with like choose the engineer if you hold left bumper you can dash into them and then you press right bumper and it'll push them into the train the whole time I was doing that I think it worked once in the whole time <laughs> but just real quick Sam Sam just says that we should do a, uh, a podcast in isometric view because it's real popular it's Oi. true we should dude <laughs> you can push that bad boy up there you can get it on the camera up here I'm sure we could yeah, I mean, mm. maybe not while we're here in Melbourne but uh, I love the idea thanks for the suggestion and if you have a suggestion for Spawn Respawn make sure to send them through to our comments uh, or you know hit us up on Twitter at Spawn Respawn PC yeah if you know what's good for that. you you'll do that Beautiful. Alrighty, moving right along. What happened Squeegees. after that? Squeegees. Squeegees. That was cool. You guys Cat, were you're amazing at that. Yeah. You're a, a puzzle, puzzle person. Games. Talk about it. Tell oh. us about puzzle it. Puzzle gal. Well, imagine lemmings reimagined, basically. With physics. With physics. So um, in classic lemming style, you have a certain amount mm. of squidgies mm. that you have to get through a level. Um, but you have to sacrifice oh. some of them to use powers, so you might use one that's uh, stopping, or one that's using like a grappling hook, so you can flip it around and hit a button or something. 
Um, anyways, that one's probably likely to die, but the rest of the squidgies <laughs> then get to go through and live. So exactly like lemmings. Mm, and then right. um, once you finish the level, uh, your star system is actually like a world takeover system yeah. where the squidgies will take over up to three worlds um, because they're spreading out because their mama is so big. <laughs> it's kind yeah. of angry it's birds like in the... <coughs> sorry, scoring system, like the three... One star, two star, yeah, three stars. Yeah, totally. And but I'm getting Cthulhu through. vibes yeah, from those like, giant yeah, yeah. squids, maybe. <laughs> like world-ending giant, like you Elden You could get ones. like seven stars plus, like, or yeah. seven squid giants. Yeah, it you depends were how many hard. you have the, to save in that level. The yeah. dev was such a nice guy as well. He was like, yeah, yeah. I was like... I'm finishing my degree while I was working on this. Dude, like, what the hell? I think he's it's finishing the Nintendo it now. Switch. Yeah, he's like literally almost, in yeah. his last like week last or month in his degree, last and he's video. at PAX. What and a they good were, dude! They were at PAX West in the US. Yeah, and this yeah, guy's obviously really got cool. a bright future if you're starting that young. Totally, he's and, like killing it that and the guy who runs the company, like who is the the lead developer, is his lecturer. Lecturer. That was oh, sick. That's so and cool. they yeah. made that game from February. Um, yeah. Go to now. Yeah. And, they and it's literally like quality wise and like polish and the way it works and the mechanics and everything is like, and they said Good. they don't want to release it on mobile because it's a lot of a different like market. Yeah. Because obviously microtransactions and all so that kind a, of stuff. It's but a like, Switch game. It's a Absolutely. Switch. Yeah, it's yeah. A Switch exclusive, which is sick because it's perfect for Switch. Yeah. It's all touch controls. Or you can use the uh, yeah. controller for it. Yeah. And he mentioned that like it was gy- generally designed to work with the touchscreen. It was like, uh, we didn't even think it was going to work with like the motion controls, but it does, which yeah. is kind of cool. It was really but also, cool. They're based in Tasmania, which is yeah. really awesome. His well. name's Mitch, by the way. Yeah. So shout out to you, Mitch, from yeah. um, Squidgies. But, um, <laughs> it was really cool as well. They were saying that uh, like a hospital, a children's hospital got their hands on the game and yes. then they ordered a bunch of copies of the game yeah. um, when Very it comes cool. out. And they said there's going to be free uh, extra levels and things when it fully comes out, which is awesome as well. But it's got currently nice. 81 levels. 81 levels. Which is sick. Which is heaps. And what was really cool is that like Mitch, this guy who was uh, who was helping us out, basically like Cat had the switch and she was like figuring out this puzzle. And he's just like, well, even I didn't know yes. you could figure it out that way. That's like completely <laughs> different to the way that we thought you could do it. Like you were like figuring out yeah, new ways like, to do it. I was like, oh, he was like, bitch, I did this in my sleep. What's up? What's good? What's yeah. good? Yeah, all right. He's off. He's off to probably take a tinkle, but there you go. What else can you tell us about Squidgies? You played it uh, hands-on for quite a while. Dude, I just really liked it. Like, Lemmings was my childhood. Yeah, yeah uh, dude, I'm not me too. learning shit in school. I'm playing Lemmings. Like, I'm not going to be pretending to like sit around and play puzzle games all day, but I will admit that when I was a kid, I definitely got my hands amongst that uh, Lemmings. Lemmings is literally like... Many a digital <sighs> Lemmings. It's like... So, so I'm really about it. But yeah, yeah. there was yep. there were certain points like you could choose any of the levels because they were unlocked for the demo, obviously. Mm. And I, I did a bunch of levels and I did level 80 and I was like, yeah, sick, done. And then I went to level 81 and I was like, what the, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> What? And he was like, yeah, you haven't learned about that ability yet because you're just jumping around. And you were just like, whatever, bitch, I'm, I'm already like, doing it. Like, it's too late, man. I'm already no, I didn't there. do that level. <laughs> I was just like, oh, what? Let's just pretend that you did. Yeah. yeah. But, um, no. no, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it very, nice. very, very cool. I'll be honest, like, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not going to buy it, but I like, respect the game and I respect the people who made it. Yeah. Isn't that enough? Is that not enough? And I, I think, mean, like, good. it's, it's, it, w- it will ap- appeal to a lot of people as well. I'm sure people will. love those kind of puzzle games where it's like, and for $21, yeah. I'm not sure how much that appeal will go. Well, with but free level But he said to stuff. me, he said to me, like, we'll get all over the sales and uh, like, like some developer they're friends with from Tassie or something ha- sells their game normally. And then like at the moment, it's like $1.50. So like oh. they kind of get their name out there by being in a sale. It's like this is a ridiculous percentage off, and people will buy it, and then they'll know who they are. So yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very cool. But you're yeah, really overall, fucking good at that game, though. Cam. Honestly, Jesus if Christ. Mitch is around, uh, um, hopefully we gave him a card, so hopefully he might check this out. But dude, we wish you the absolute best. Yeah, like for for such a young man and who's absolutely killing it at this age, man. Like, keep I going, enjoyed- man. Like, Everything about that session. Yeah, that was probably one of the best sessions that we attended in terms I, of the one-on-one booth sessions that we went to. I'm yeah. blown away by just this level of quality that these are tiny Australian developers in have. under like, a year. And the art, dude, since it as well February, 
And like he was saying, all the like animation, all the all the rocks, all the inside rocks the levels yeah. are like hand placed. hand placed. They're not like um set pieces that you yeah, just stick together. Yeah, it's not like a texture. Do you go in there and you're like, yeah, very cool. Yeah, fully hectic. Well and it's on the Switch, and that's just awesome. Like I love it's a the perfect Switch. Switch game. Yeah, I'm twenty one dollars. I'm a little bit like, Ugh. but yeah. at the same time, you gotta pay the bills. You so know what? Yeah, else totally, though. and like, good on them. Like it's sick. Twenty one Australian dollars. Like yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Twenty one of our rupees. I mean, then they're worth nothing anyway. So yeah, like, right? let's like, just keep what does it this roller coaster rolling, and we're gonna move straight on to the whole reason why you clicked on this fucking video. Holy let's talk shit. about it. This is the one. This is how they crammed. What is it? Two thousand people? Was it more than two thousand people? Well, the guy in the line was saying it's a two point five k limit theater. auditorium. Yeah, like auditorium theater, yeah. right. There were so many people in the line for this and we lined up an hour early to get into the gameplay demo of you guessed it Cyberpunk 2077. Oh my god. Again, it's the title oh, of the video. Oh, oh, oh. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> bret, 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 bret. We've seen gameplay before, we've seen snippets, we've seen little bits and we've seen little teasers, but not that much in one little sitting like oh so if what you've, a good fucking show if you've seen the latest cyberpunk uh like kind of walkthrough of pacifica it's 15 minutes long it's on youtube and little everything snippets right that is literally a cut down edited version of this which was originally shown at uh e3 this yeah, year yeah, to yeah, press yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, at yeah, gamescom yeah. and then at pax west all to press this time uh it was to the public so and this was the first showing of it so despite the fact that we had press passes yes yeah, so we still had to line up with the public but all oh fuck, fuck, I, I have no words like this game looks so fucking good and Elliot's just sitting there like we're, we're getting ready and the music's coming up and Elliot's just like man I wish you had a laptop I'll just I'll write some notes down I was like take mine and he's like just like literally writing page after page and after I was like page of these notes, staring at the screen like he's like I'm like he I can't touch paying attention. Right? <laughs> like literally though, True like, oh, it was so good. Oh yeah. my god, we're gonna release a video. Uh, we did like a little first impressions on that. We're gonna talk about it now anyway. But fuck, okay, okay. So starting from the Please. very beginning, what was really cool? We got to see some different um, classes in Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, we started off by looking at the corporate or corpo, corpo. Um, yeah. little build because you have like had. your your. It's kind of like Mass Effect. Like in Mass Effect, you have three uh, like stories, like like where you came from, kind of thing Origins. to choose from. Origins, yeah, right. And it's exactly the same. There's three of them, but but they can affect the same as Mass Effect your dialogue options so if you're a corpo you can kind of rub shoulders with the big yeah. the corporations Rich right and they're, and they're like such a big thing in cyberpunk if you're a street kid i'm guessing you'll be able to and there were a lot of street kid dialogue oh, options yeah. that I'm they gonna couldn't be a say kid. yeah and then a nomad i'm not sure i'm not gonna be a but nomad I, i'm guessing a nomad is Fuck not that. from um Mid- night city, night yeah. city? originally yeah. maybe but holy shit like yeah. the just seeing the dialogue options locked out like that Oh, that fucking as an RPG fan just gets me so Go excited. Ahead. Yeah, yes, gets me dude. going. Like, I love. It's so weird. I love not being able to say something in a dialogue option because I'm like, well, I've got to play it again now. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. got to start again. Literal replayability. Fool is me. <laughs> oh man, I'd probably go corpo just because like one. Dude, I'm thinking the not. same thing because really? like, and you can go corpo. Kid. I'm going straight kid, dude. So, there's there's no someone else way going nomad. nomad. No Whatever. Nomad. Someone else can do that shit. I want to get in with those Ooh, corporations. Yeah, more comments. Uh, Monka S. Don't ever fucking type that in the comments again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just kidding, love you. Dude, Keanu got a lot of lines. Shame, in. No the bangable bloch, Keanu. The blowfish stuff must revive your faith in actual creativity and passion games. Totally, man. Like, uh, JMH. So it's great to see, and this whole indie rising, PAX rising section. We're gonna spend a lot more time. In was that. oh yeah, we're gonna do a video on that specifically. There was so much Aussie stuff. There was some non-Aussie stuff in the PAX Rising stuff, yeah. but a man, I'm majority. blown away by how much Australian development there it's is. Amazing. It's amazing. So cool. When you look at the map for PAX Rising, right? There's yeah. all these booths uh, that are pink. And I was like, oh, pink booths, uh, you know, maybe they're the Aussie made ones. They're just the Melbourne made ones. They're oh, not... They're not Aussie made. No, they just the Melbourne pink ones made. are Melbourne. Yeah. Before we go on, but. should we finish our thoughts on Cyberpunk? Also, yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to reply to. No, you cannot bang Keanu. He is in your head. Right, so all right. So you can bang him in your head, in your fucking. I'm dreams. banging him in my head so, anyway, but whatever. All right. and anyway, Hayden Russell, alert, yes, you be the nomad. Hayden, Hayden we love you forever. 
What's um, up, Hayden? We're in Melbourne. Video. Let's hang out. Were you not at PAX today, bitch? What's up? Like, so, that? let's. Can we give an over overview on on Johnny Silverhand, right? So Keanu Reeves. What do we know about him? We know that he lives inside the chip that lives in V's head. But what is that chip? That chip and spoiler is alert, possibly spoiler, not really. I mean, come on, it's I mean, marketing literally. material. But the chip inside V's head, of course, is the secret to immortality. Oh somehow. It is the chip that somehow gives them everlasting life. I don't know That's about everlasting. That's the rumor at the very least. But it brings them back blows from the dead. my mind about Cyberpunk is like, <laughs> when they released that 15 minute gameplay demo, they didn't mention this chip, right? And they've it's in the Steam description, but that's it for talking about that chip. Yeah. That is the main fucking story in oh, this 100%. game. Yeah. Absolutely. It's like in The Witcher, like the Wild Hunt is your main enemy. So cyber, like CD Projekt Red, that was their main marketing. With this, it's like, this is the first time it's gone out to the public mm. that like some people may not read the Steam description and go like, wait, like you're... You're you have the secret to immortal immortality. Chip? Like oh, I was implied with the last trailer where you got shot in the head and you wake up in the uh, in the uh, yeah, but it what like it was Im- it was implied, I guess, with that. But it, but that's the thing. Like some people may not even think like well, I don't think you can be a corpo and a street kid at the same no, no, time. No, no, you no. You choose one, one, or, choose the other. one yeah. or the other. One history, and then the class system itself is completely fluid. You can be whatever, mm. but your your background is one. One, or one and of they, the they three. They did show us the skill tree as well. They didn't go into great detail. Which we have a photo g- of from a while yeah, ago. Yeah, we've seen before, but um, which we can't bring up in the stream yet. But hey, there's that's always more. We'll yeah, we'll get there day. with all those. Sneaky little thing. We will get there. But what was cool is they did skip around. They did jump between the different groups. They had one that was a net runner and one that was a solo build. So the solo build was all about being ultra <laughs> mega giga like <laughs> mega buff giga. boy. You know what I mean? Like That's when they opened that door, and that, this was that again in the fifteen oh. minutes. So Opens the door and then the arm <laughs> shit comes out. Oh. Like, Your arm like but pulls apart. Yeah. That was in the fifteen minute demo. It was, like, it was, it was but it doesn't cut make cut it down. any less amazing. No. It's fucking sick. And the way they presented it. Oh my god. I love CD Projekt Red so much. So, this is literally just the CD Projekt Red, like, yeah. spoof cast. <laughs> spoof cast. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, indeed it is. So what I really enjoyed is that they showed us a lot of the elements of how you can get around in the open world, or yes. at least they showed us the actual driving no, mechanics. Like. Now, if you've ever played Grand Theft Auto and you've played it in, oh, sorry, GTA Five, I should say, and you've played, like, or you've driven in first person, you might know that it sucks all kinds or of Or Red Dead in first person. Or Red Dead, yeah, running off. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. So that's why, of course, the game is in first person, locked to first person, until you get in a vehicle where you can choose to select a third person camera and fuck it was so good it was so pretty it was so fucking great and they showed us uh, Pacifica yes of course what was meant to be an ultra affluent uh, ultra wealthy amazing complex tourist destination and then they took all that money the fuck out of there when the war ravaged the the world it ravaged the funding of Pacifica and And it toppled the net as well yes Yes. so it was really cool they showed us the billboard and then it like panned over and they showed us the city it was all run down what it's supposed to look like yeah versus no no, you literally said (laughs) expectation versus reality which was really really cool Um, The, the commentary like that was so cool like she did an amazing job I love that like obviously it's scripted they've been doing this since e3 it's like oh yeah four months since e3 they've been doing the same demo over and over again but they they still seem to have this passion for for the demo and for everything that's going on um and it's just so cool that like when they're like uh you know like oh we have to be stealthy at the moment he's like aiming down the sights at the at the enemy and she's like we're being stealthy at the yeah. moment. We're not going all out. They had this mad so back and forth. We just had forth. a bit of spillage, so... Oh, listen. Clean up. Thanks, That's Kat. what happens You're when, welcome. Oh, um, on the mixer, too. Dude, <laughs> but seriously, oh, my God. Like, I, I, I'm going to assume that this... So, last year, after Gamescom, the, the 45-minute gameplay, the original gameplay came out, right? So, I'm going to assume, now that they're showing this to the public, that this is going to come out on YouTube, right? You would expect so? You'd hope so. So keep an eye on City Project thing, Red. So don't even worry about it. I will put it up on the YouTube. Don't right? fucking say that because <laughs> they literally <laughs> asked not to film. I was the only person in the entire theatre, I think, with a laptop out writing notes. Yeah, well, you were the only pseudo-journalist there. <laughs> yeah. Pseudo-journalist <laughs> is probably the right term for me. So <laughs> <laughs> literally, we're filming this on I did hand out my, my, my business cards like I was a real journalist, but yeah. pseudo-journalist, I like that. They say fake it till you make it. We were just making it till we faked it, baby. 
baby. Blah, blah. All Dude. Right. Back to Cyberpunk. Holy shit. Okay. okay. So what we got to see were the different gangs that were involved. Now, I know in some of the trailers we saw little snippets and we saw the animals, which we said were the buff boys, and then the voodoo boys, which are based off this um, group of people living They're in Pacifica Haitian. that are, are like, you know, of Haitian descent. Um, and but oh, what was really cool was the UI elements of translation. So uh, they were speaking oh, in whichever yeah, language that's... that they speak, right? Oh um, yeah, yeah. What yeah, language? In like, like it would show up with the language and the way that they were they were saying it down the bottom, but then it would live translate it. And apparently that is yeah, a you mod. all saw it. Yes. It is like an actual um, augment. That I you think can it's get. a. a, a a I think it's a eye mod or something. Like uh, that. Yeah, one of the cyberware like abilities. Dang. But shit in my eye. Uh, for oh, real. Thank you. Jimmy, Jimmy, that up, wait. Oh, Jimmy, I... robot eyeball. But yeah, I was literally watching the demo and I saw the uh, subtitles down the bottom. And when they started glitching and changing, I was like, man, that's really cool. That's a cool way to um, Sorry, show no, the audience what's being said and then making it something that they can understand. Yeah. But um, then she turned around and she was like, you'll notice this and it's an augmentation from your fucking eyeball. And I was like, what? And that's you the thing. So cool. Ripper Doc to get that shit installed. Yeah. And, and what they the call him again? It was something... Um, Vector it was a Victor oh, Vector. Victor Vector. 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 That's Vector. He's the, the he's the guy oh, from the C CG trailer who yeah. shoots you in the head. No, no. Yeah, the bu- yeah. who shoots no. you in the head. That's, oh, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. So no, he's no, no. The guy that breaks you in the yeah, trailer. Yeah, sorry. Uh, the guy and that the, shoots you in the head is uh, Dex. Dex. Sorry. Hey. Hey. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, you're right. Fucking Elliot, get your oh, shit. Oh Jesus together, Christ! Man. But dude, it was amazing, and just like that little bit of um, that realization that. If the subtitles aren't UI for the game, it's UI for your life in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Then probably everything is like the exit locations with like the meters and just like everything popping up on the sides is probably what V is seeing. Yeah. It's really, really yeah. cool. Even when you can zoom in to things is like because that's what they showed in the first gameplay. My demo. eye just fucking it's, <laughs> Yeah, because remember when you got that like they took your eyeball yeah, out. That was so and cool. Upgraded your eyeball. I loved the camera flow as it went into your eye. And uh, like everyone's well, okay. A lot of people on Twitter, the internet in general, are freaking out because like it's all in first person. There's no uh there's no cutscenes, whatever. But you know what? I think that's cool. Give us a game like for for one, like Fallout Three, Fallout New Vegas, they're all in first person. Yeah. Did that make an issue? But this game is even more cinematic in first person at the same time. Like, and I in think mirrors. How yeah. it gives that? you yeah like yeah it. it gives you so much opportunity to be immersed in the game when like the dialogue options come up on your screen when someone like grabs you and yeah. it's like get the fuck off me. And you can say that, or you can choose something else. And it's just, I, l- I love the immersion yeah. factor with the being UI, first person. And I'm not even a first person dude. Like, yeah. yeah. The UI is so good. Like oh, I mentioned so details. earlier, oh, so good. even just the health bar, the way that it drops when you're shooting people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was so impactful. Cause I, I can understand like a, a lot of health bars when you damage it, like gives you, it comes down in white, like a nice smooth animation and then it stops. And then the red, falls down and like it stop stops yeah and that whatever this meant meaty the way it they was do just it. so meaty it was like <laughs> chunk chunk and like the like, health like it, flew yeah. off the bar it oh was really like, i didn't even notice doosh, that doosh. no yeah. man i'm all about that shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna call her hawkeye from now on because yeah. i'm sitting there going like Ugh. Yeah, I had to chuck my to glasses f- on so I could like see what was going on. I'm like, is the projector blurry? No, it turns out my eyes are just literal trash. <laughs> you can, I don't know why you can fucking see 2020 vision. I got no I'm idea. Just doing it, man. It's genetics. I don't know. But then again, um, other shit that was in the game. One thing that really got me going was the um, was the live sort of damage modeling or the, the oh my god, yes. uh, what would you call it? The giving <laughs> system. The whole and hey, I shoot your arm and you fucking rip the arm off. And then the, the, the dude who was playing the game was like, doosh, 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 like shooting a dead body. He just wanted to kill the, motherfuckers. All of the limbs were flying off and I'm like Whoa. okay so a bit of a comparison here you know when we first saw Avengers gameplay yeah right and we were talking yeah. about how like when how Widow was shooting uh, that bad guy whatever his name is can't remember yeah, yeah and yeah. she was like and it punched him and he was just like standing there this was like Oh, like every impactful. bullet that hit yeah. them and they were big dudes yeah yeah, yeah. they were getting Chunky. thrown back and they were like blinking 
towards the Dude, towards that was me, so the cybernetic cool. enhancements that were having the juice stuff that made them move at super speed. They'll be like, they'll be like porting, not, t- not teleporting, but moving super speed. It like blink, you like essentially a blink, like hella quick. And you know that guy's played that demo a million times, and he's oh, yeah. he knows what's going to happen. But for the average player, they're gonna get fucked up. Oh yeah, there. like it looks they're not so gonna know like. That guy's gonna come towards me, zoom, like, because he can do a little like dodge to the oh, side. Yeah. I love that little dodge move because that, like, that just gives you so much more flexibility. It's full dishonored style, uh, mm. where you can just like do, do like around the. Pl- oh, I just the the movement and everything just looks so fluid. People again on the internet freaking out like CD Projekt Red haven't done. Shooter. This kind of stuff before, yeah, I don't. Dude, past them though. They these do developers know what they're doing, and 100%. this also, the weapons sounded the, chunky. They've also sourced world class talent. Like it's not exactly. like they've just decided like let's try a hand at a first person shooter game. Like these guys yes. have built a team Thank to you. do yeah. this over the course of seven years or more. I believe it's around. Well, yeah, twenty time, right? like twelve or thirteen. We saw the yeah, first yeah, yeah. like teaser. Nuts. Yeah, so. And I was so Rest hyped easy. then. And they wouldn't release so a game sad. that's piss poor. I mean, no. And you know what? Played The Witcher Red. Three. That is, oh, they had Poland's some really good cosplayers good too. <laughs> that's oh, some yeah. sick cosplayers. But um, oh my oh, god, oh, yes. yes. You know what I really liked? Oh, that dude that just had like the eye prosthetic. Dude, that was fucking crazy. Oh my god, Dylan, cool. you got to see that from the tomorrow. last years. Oh, did you not see it? Oh, oh my no, god. I wasn't there. That was. That freaked me out how realistic that was. It looked really, really good. I remember oh, in the I'm last sick. gameplay trailer, like the dudes with the f- no eyeballs, they just had like red, red lights. lights in their eyes. Yeah. 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 It yeah. looked so real. Spatter It looked really, really good. But um, yeah. I liked in, and we saw this in the 15 minutes that we got, the part where you fight Sasquatch. And she drops the hammer yes. after you shoot her butt juice. No, you <laughs> had a juice spot. Wait. Took the hammer, out. picked up the hammer. I yeah. know, right? Oh, and put it in the inventory. And it kind yep. of I was like, I was what? Like, That's very RPG of you. I um, but like, and that the the fact that me. they were like, mm. oh, okay, so she's stopped having the juice injected into her butt, so yeah. she doesn't get to hold the hammer anymore. I was like, right. can I pick that up mid fight and just fuck? Like if, if I've got the strength, if you were the strength solo build, Deej. yeah, probably. And that's the thing. I thought for a while, me. like, <clears throat> uh, like. You know, street kid. They dev- showed off more of the whip too. Oh, what is the whip? Doosh, what do they call doosh. it again? Oh. Uh, oh, I wrote it down in the notes. I wrote yeah. everything. Yeah, down as if I'm gonna open that. With with Sasquatch fight for a while, I was thinking like, as Devil's Advocate, and I'm I love this game, but I'm gonna be Devil's Advocate. I love be Devil's like, Advocate. She was moving real slow, and you were just dodging out the way, and it seemed really easy. Obviously, again, that guy's played the demo a million times. But also her when range she very wide. when she oh, yeah. took him down and hacked him, and then V was also being hacked by uh, Cyberwatch, S- Netwatch, Netwatch, Netwatch. Yeah, sorry, like, Netwatch. Oh. When he was also being hacked by Netwatch, and when she took him down, everything was glitching. The UI was almost in like unreadable. That was so cool. That was, was really- super immersive. Like he, like V was getting fucked up. And everything was going horribly wrong. And then as he took a took Sasquatch could Sasquatch down, it seemed to kind of like fix up. Netwatch was like it was all sorted out. But I a, I was that really was cool. I have a general gameplay question. Sure, sure. Do you think the idea revolt like with Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven revolving around the idea of a chip of immortality? Does that remove the stakes of danger when it comes to dying? And you know, I don't know. Well, I don't understand why they can't just take narrative. it out of your head, dude. Like, yeah. I like, just I don't think oh, they not couldn't identify. To be honest, anyone. I don't think yeah. anyone really knows what it is. But yeah, because they couldn't think identify. Died, it, they mentioned that that like, when they they scanned yeah. V and they they said what's this well, chip and he yeah. made up some Brid- bullshit story. Bridget about it. or whoever it was knew. She, knew. she knew she knew because she, she like, knew Johnny who scanned was like, Ooh. Johnny Silverhand was in that chip. Did she as well? Because she's like, we're gonna use Johnny as bait. Yeah. Against. Uh, oh. uh, she was like, was we're gonna take a part of him. Art to get Cunningham Alt or back. Alt, Cunningham. Alt Cunningham. Alt Cunningham, yeah. Who's yeah. like the only Digital person boy. who's ever gone beyond past the black, the black wall, wall that beyond they the black think wall. That can come back. Yeah. Mm. And as and the demo ended, it's like, 
Whoop. The black wall goes Whoop. boosh. Oh, so cool. Holy and what's beyond, shit. And what's beyond the black wall? Apparently those were like the super AIs that were like... Yeah, were, and they um, had to lock built, them out. Yeah, they had to like lock them out of the net because they were too powerful. Like, oh, what a cool fucking story. It's really, really cool just the way that it like takes our current reality and just like boosts it to a million. To 11, yeah. hey. but I want to play the tabletop game. I, so bad. I was going to say, we w- we've got to go and check out the tabletop area tomorrow or, you know, one of the days. Yeah, I've seen it. See that. It's there. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's in there. That part right. where he gets hacked, mm. I was watching it at, at by Sasquatch or by Sasquatch by Netwatch. and yeah. Netwatch yeah. at the same yeah. time. Oh yeah, yeah. I was r- trying to figure it out as we were watching. Is it just a visual glitch or not? Because like there were parts in time where it just looked like it was a visual, like the overlay was glitching, but then it also looked like you were jumping around. And like I don't know if, if it's right, so like, maybe it even affects your motor controls. Yeah, kind of thing. and oh. not necessarily that it's um, supposed to be affecting your motor controls, but that it is jumping ar- you around to make it look more glitchy, yeah. so you yeah. think you're stuck in a spot. Yeah, where you're it's more like uh, sort of rubber banding kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, and I wonder how they maybe. actually figure that out. If it's all visual and they just like pause you in that place while you move around, or if they actually do jump you around physically. That's a good point, yeah. actually, so, because it was definitely like yeah. Because that's bugging like, out yeah. hard, yeah. It was really, really cool. Like, oh, man, the visual You know stuff. what else? I, I mentioned this to Dylan as we're going towards Sasquatch. Because um, you get, when you go into that area, you try to hack a camera and Netwatch kind of, yeah. kind of tries to fry you and they kind of get but into they you. Know, they, they they know you there, then, yeah. Yeah. And and they're they're you. Yeah. And they also want to work with you. Fucking yeah. hell. As you go through, they're like, don't do this. This isn't your fight. Like, yeah. get out of here. And you're like, I'm going to go forward. And the screens change and they like go back and they're like don't do it yeah, and yeah. stuff like, like that like leave now leave yeah. now yeah, and like yeah. the screens were popping up and just like screens in the background were like changing I was like dude that's and so fucking and cool. also <laughs> that like when you find and again this is in the 15 minute thing so like if you want to know what we're actually talking about go watch the 15 minute thing from a month ago Youngest. three months ago or whatever when they find the Netwatch agent well when yeah. V finds yes. the Netwatch agent and he hacks him in the in the demo, well, in the like fifteen minute cut edited thing, you don't know why everything turned to skulls and then V fell to the ground. Yeah. But in this, they explain they yeah. explain that like it was the voodoo. Boys. It was the vo- the voodoo boys were fucking with you. Yeah. Netwatch say to V like. You can side You're a with floor us. Rag. You're yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that, was that the term floor yeah, rag? That's the floor one rag. thing I didn't get in Basically my notes. Called was like, you a what they rag? Like it's fucking disgusting. And so you, by hacking into them, so you've got like the thing in your arm where you can just plug it into anyone. Mm. You it's hacking out. into Netwatch causes them cyberdeck. Thank you. Causes causes the vo- the voodoo boys to hack into Netwatch. And kills every single Netwatch agent on the network. On the network, That's on the current network, on scale, including though. V. How many? And then because V survives, yeah, you it get back like up. The, the, it was oh. like it looked like twelve across like, the US. Oh, that's like, what that map was. Yeah. Oh, and they okay. don't explain that in that fifteen-minute trailer yeah. at all. But that's what that was. And but I that's guess that's why at the boys. start of the trail, that fifteen-minute thing, they're like, this contains potential spoilers. Yeah. Because yeah. that is like. So much more information that you get than you get from that 15 yeah. minute Yeah, but trailer. also that's such a small so part sorry, of the spoiler game. <laughs> spoiler alert, yes, but I mean like this it is, is a, yes. a tiny if fragment here, of an incredibly large game. And, the, and then the Voodoo Boys have turned on you, but you then go into Brigitte and you're like, yeah, fuck you kind of thing. Like, and she's you like, turned she's on like, me. I wouldn't have done that to you if uh, yeah. I was She's like, if I knew idiot. your chip was in your head, I wouldn't have fucking done and it. So that's like, I would have threatened it. So question. I would have taken it. Mm. Like, why can't she just go... Like, she knows what is there. Why can't she... Well, I that's what... In know, the, literally... But what about the CG trailer, right? Because yeah. that is what is in V's head. Like, that whole... That's where your upgrade those, chip goes, as far as we know as well. So when you buy an upgrade chip, what but are doing? That's the thing. We Lush don't know that. And I'm going to try and get an interview with CD Projekt Red over the weekend. So... Cross yeah. it your fingers for me. And clearly this stream Question, is going right. all across the world right now and all of these CD Projekt Red uh, developers are hey, watching I tagged right them in the now. Twitter so, post. Why not? So yeah, give us an interview, please. Give us a moment of your time. Uh, we love your work. We, we do. Yes. I have a question though. Please. Will they use the immortality thing as a gameplay mechanic when you die or are you going to die and go back to a checkpoint? Like, I what is your theory on that? Because I, I don't know. From the... This is based on absolutely nothing and is garbage bin information. <laughs> Basically, we don't know. 
based on theories, th- man. That's the th- word. My own theory and the way that they're marketing the game, being like your choices matter, um, and how heavily they are suggesting that makes me think that if you make the wrong choice and you get screwed, then you're gonna just wake up later and that's still gonna the, impact you in as the you keep trash, going. Trash the trash heap. Exactly. With Keanu, or like. like Wake the fuck up, Sam. Like so, yeah, well, spoilers. Like, well, no, not no, really no. spoilers because we already talked about it. But when you get fried, you wake up and Johnny's like, they fucking fried you. Yeah. Ugh, let's he knows, go get him. He knows what's <laughs> up. Like, and yeah. so they fully intended to kill you. And the implication there is that they did kill you. You got a cross on your name and mm. you died, but you're alive again and you yeah. continue on the story. But that that's a good is a point story because, beat. Yeah. So it could be different. But that's I feel a, yeah, like it would be that's really re- impactful to keep going that way. And that's another thing. All right, so... You have to start back at the fucking uh, trash yard every time, though. I no, no, know. yeah. It might thanks. depend on the mission type as but well. Like, if you die mid-firefight, they might be like, oh, go back to the start of the room, you for a mission, but yeah. like, well, That's the thing we've, yeah. been, we've been asking specifically since this latest trailer. Mm. Like, is Jackie in the game or is Jackie dead? Because in that trailer... trailer he freaking You dies. pretty much watch he him like, die in dead. front of you. Yeah, I'm, I mean, um, and then V goes back. into that room and then he gets shot in the head. And, and then, then he, he jumped, wakes up in the trash. Like, are they? Are they telling? And I, I want to ask. This is my first question on the list of my questions are they I say, have for like, Can't City Project Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to wait till twenty twenty. Yeah, and that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. But if like, I may want, as well ask him if it's going to come out on PS Five, bro. Oh, may as well ask him that. I'm not some fucking neckbeard, bro. You are some fucking neckbeard, bro. I'm kidding. I love you. I shaved my neckbeard. Thanks, boys. From top to bottom, I love you, mate. But yeah, like, is that? telling a story is what we saw in the last 48 minute one from last year is yeah. that is that telling us the story of like you know i i, 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 I have so be, many questions i think it would be about really the timeline cool. of the game and the trailers yeah i think it would be really cool if it was just pre-story to get you invested in the characters totally, in the yeah. world yeah. and just explain it without giving any story away but i also think it would be very useful to take that change it a bit and make that your tutorial. Well, there was a no, lot of... Say, yeah. right? If and it's going to be in the game, you... it will be early, early game. I mean, and that, that CG shit some, ain't going like, to be in the game. And Definitely. Yeah, yeah. and Definitely it will not. give you some... Uh, like uh, Some... <laughs> What is the word I'm looking I just, for? I, I, Motivation. There was a lot of pushback. There was a lot of pushback against Jackie. So him dying at the start of the game. Like, and... and they may not even care about that, but there was a lot of pushback against like, yeah. mm, Jackie's a bit of a questionable character. Like, it, it doesn't I seem like... I think the whole g- city's full of questionable characters. Yeah, yeah, but like, it was like the writing yeah. of that character wasn't up to standards of what people were City Project Red. Like, uh, that's okay. what a lot of... And again, this is fucking internet like bullshit. I look at Twitter way too much, but... <laughs> and I'm not saying I agree with that. I'm That's... That, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yours is mostly empty because you spilt it all over the table. Yeah, uh, but I, I'm, I'm interested to see where that goes. I, mm. everyone, cross your fingers for some form of conversation with the developers That's or it. PR or whatever. But we're gonna need shit. We should probably move on. We, we are gonna on. move on now. We've only got a couple of things left. Also, That's one it. more thing. JMH uh, saying it sucked. Uh, it's sick how they're not just hanging on the big huge world and stuff alone. There's all the little details, dude. If you if you played The Witcher. That's totally what they're all about. Like, Dude, I think it's like The Witcher, but more. Like, yeah, that's what, what I mean. Seen, like, it's, it's like, a progression. Like, but oh, if yeah. you played The Witcher three, you know that CD Projekt Red care about those little stories, right? Yeah. Like, mm. The Witcher three is a it's a huge story. Like, it is essentially the end times, right? Like, oh, yeah. uh, and the end of an era, and the end of the world. And there's so many great little stories side missions but not even just that just like the way the story pans out that make you know that yeah. they know what they're doing and like everything in the game is there's nothing that's just half-assed it's all oh, yeah. so well done and that's why i'm so excited about this game because i know that these d- developers care about these ip and these are ip that have never been made into games but have been made into other things and there's other types such of games <laughs> and like, ridiculously deep lore involved especially in with well. um like mike pondsmith the creator of cyberpunk he's uh he's heavily involved yeah, with yeah. his game and that again like andreas sifkowski 
was not hugely involved with The Witcher. Yeah. He actually thought video games were a fucking joke. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. you know, tried That's to sue. That's a huge mistake. Yeah, yeah. What he tried to play. sue him and he was just like, oh, I'll have my money now. And but they're like, fucking no, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, you signed a contract. But Mike Pondsmith is like, way, he's at, like, he's at E3 doing interviews, talking about the game. He's in the game as, like, some side he's, characters. He's done the interviews on YouTube and stuff like he's that. Amazing. Like, the, the and he's amazing. out there with him involved. Like, his support for the game makes me know that the lore and everything behind it is just so on thick. point. Yes. Because, like, tabletop games, like... You have to have good lore. Yeah, they don't work because if you there's don't have nothing backstory. else. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. at least with a video game. Backstory. Yeah, fucking oath. Yeah, man. totally, dude. I, we're, I think we're so all on the fair. same page. But all of us are very excited. I know that you guys are excited too. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't have clicked on this video. But I think it's Moving probably on. time that we move right on. I think Kat's going to tell us a little bit about their this. My yeah. the starry void, my, my starry, starry, this, my starry, starry void. void. This well, this. my I this starry up. void. Yes. This starry void. This. Starry Void, which I offered Elliot could play, but he was just like, no, nah, dude. No. Nah, I just nah, chatted to the play. dev. I filmed you for a while playing it. Dude, it was great. Like, sci-fi. I suck at grid-based um, games, but I like it was how really it was nice. fluid movement. I think when I saw it that it was grid-based in the press kit, I yeah. was like, oh, is it going to be like, I'm going to move like two Grim steps. Like Grimrock sort of thing. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it was fluid movement, but you have to be within the, like, and you were like, oh, I can't go there because there's a dead body there. Like, yeah. This game was gorgeous. Also, I really like Straight liked, up Void Bastards, but serious. <laughs> I really liked how, um, like, in a lot of grid-based games, you look forward. You look to your right, like yeah. you behind you. You look to it your was left. Still fluid. Your camera was free. Yes, camera. But yeah. your feeties weren't. Yeah. So, which made it kind of awkward when I was on a diagonal. Um, yeah. I would like press forward and I'd go sideways by accident, and I was like, "What? Oh, okay, not my." Like, yeah, I think it took you a sec like, to realize, like, "Oh, it is grid yeah, based." Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, it like did the, take me a second. The map shows a grid, but you're like, "Oh, it literally is." Yeah, forward, forward, it did. right, right. Like you know, yeah. like it's all. But you know what? It was sick, and, and it was pretty. It was beautiful. There was like three enemies in the game that I in yeah. the demo. There was a bug, a, a bug tardigrade, enemy. and then oh, a tardigrade. big tardigrade man. Um, so this, it's like just for the viewers, explain the game in general. Like, what is the? So um, I got the law at the start. You could be like, yeah, let's go, or you could be like, wait, what am I doing? Um, so basically, you're on a ship out in the reaches of our solar system, and from your ship, you are controlling a drone that goes out to <laughs> rescue ships. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. And um, all right, Jess, we'll be done soon. Come over. And on cool. on the rescue, you send the drone out to the rescue ships, and from there, you know, self-explanatory, go rescue things, dude. Go, go rescue shit. On. Just that's what's so. That's the I rescued game. absolutely no one. Everyone is fucking dead. Good. But there's also like consoles and stuff that you can go talk to. Yeah. And like, I picked up a poison sack that someone had been killed with, like it was stuck on them. And oh. I went, I took that to the console and I turned it into a poison uh, grenade launcher. Oh wow! Right. Oh, what? Okay. And I got a flamethrower and like all this stuff. Um, and I was the not consoles. Um, no, yeah. we'll go see it again tomorrow. It's really it's cool. Really cool. Oh, thanks, Dad. We'll the consoles when you. Right. <laughs> Go Sun. to purchase Sunny stuff. Boy. You can Sorry, you can upgrade like your health or your damage, mm. and like it, no matter which one you upgrade, they both go up in price. And yeah. so I just yeah. kept getting like as I got more and more. You would just upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I was, like, upgrade. Doosh, I was doosh, watching yeah. the other console. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Um, <laughs> and then I and I went to like the final room, and he was and then I left. <laughs> And the yeah, guy and was, he was like, like, he was like, no, you got to go back the to that aha final aha moments room. back there. And he's cat. like, he's like, that's the uh, you got to go around the other side of the shed. And I was like, dude, I know, I can tell that's the end. Yeah, you were like, I'm I don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> like, unlike Brozzy. fucking Ghost Recon Breakpoint, she knows when to not. Yeah, I was, I was like, because I read the, I read the law, and they were like, you got to go to the flight deck. This little bit of information gives you the key, like access to it. And so when I got to the flight deck, I was like, this is the end. Turn around, and he was like, that's it. And I was like, I'm looking dude <laughs> i am looking You're like give me some space so bro. then i went to the flight deck and touched that dead boy Boop, and we got loaded and into, this, into other this weird world yeah. it was really cool it was purple Is and this there was the this big broke? boss yeah wait for I, it <laughs> yeah the big boss Cat arrives i moved my camera to the side Flame get my phone throw out and the game crashes to desktop but he was like he was like oh and shout outs to the devs. So Evan was the lead developer, but he also had an Sick artist with dude. it. Uh, show, was that yeah, the guy's name? Yeah, I think name? so. Uh, Chironics um, Studios, uh, Melbourne or Sydney? 
I can't remember. Brisbane, maybe. You I don't were know. the one that did the talking. Australian. I know. I did all the talking Australian. and I forgot to record it, so I'm sorry. But oh, he literally we're was like, well, chat with them. no so one's cool. broken my game today. Some guy came along Some and was cat. like, I'm going to break your game. And they couldn't do it. And Kat came along and was just like, flame thrower. Well, done melted it. Straight to the window screen. Melted your build, bros. <laughs> Try again next time. I melted it. That was a beautiful game. Like, he was super inspired by, they like, 70s so sci-fi. Cool. And, and you know what? Ah, it was so cool. We were chatting, and uh, Elliot's like, yeah, I'm Elliot, and this is Kat. And they're like, oh, yeah. your cat, the, the, the space art on Twitter. Yeah, and I, was I love like, your artwork. What? Yeah, because he was the one that commented <laughs> that. on yeah. your art. I was like, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> and he straight up knew who you were. Like, oh, you're the one, like... Yeah, he's like... You heard it here first. Cat is internet famous. Yeah, uh, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, point. I'm serious. Like, <laughs> weekend made. That I'm was serious? so cool. Yeah, At Shiron X on Twitter. Recognized. Get this girl for some extra art for your mm, game. Because mm, show, mm, amazing. Mm, 3D work. Yeah. Get her to do As long as you give her the days to still continue to spawn, respawn, we're fucking super happy for that. Dude, to, I to really down. like the chat that Elliot was having <laughs> with them. Yeah, I'm really I was devastated playing, we didn't record I didn't it. have much of the chat. I kind of had a little bit of input, which was basically, basically me going, Oh, yeah? All right, man? But oh, um, yeah? Elliot and his chat was super good. They were talking about like the influences of Aww. the game. Um, because I'm a huge sci-fi no, fan. Yeah. Like, you're a I, huge gaming journalist. That's oh, what is. shut huge up. Oh, you are. But like, I love sci-fi. And he was naming all, all this sci-fi that I was like, Whoa, I'm a sci-fi fan, but I don't know that shit. Well, like, I haven't touched that uh, shit. Stellaris. Yeah, the three like versions the, of Stellaris. Yeah, yeah. It was like, it's a George Clooney movie. Uh, it's not as bad as you think. It yeah. Is. <laughs> but um, yeah, I fully, as we said earlier, we want to do like a Pax Rising sort of yeah, video. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, I really want to go back and have a chat Absolutely. to them again and um, <laughs> record it with him and just be like, dude. Yeah, um, yeah, we're going Brazil. for it. Let's try this again. It was so cool. But nice. moving on. Yes. Um, Because we've gone way over time from what we expected. Oh, that's all right. Um, We went to, after that, Elliot and I, you did not, went to Nomos, and that was fully sick. So we saw three games. You just chug it. Is this your beer? Yeah, it's good, baby. Good. We saw three games (laughs) at Nomos. We saw Duped. Duped, which I've been uh, playing. Beam Team. And then a new game that is like a month and a, month a half, and a half into development not mm. a month and a half old mm. they've made and it for a month and a half and they have a playable build called Salty yeah. Space and they had a uh, playable Unity. build yeah, for a Unity, month and a man. half it was like every text all the text was like fucking aerial like we, it was so basic but it was aerial. like <laughs> it, it literally was aerial <laughs> but it was sense. like asteroids I didn't even asteroids that. slash yeah like the font was like that? I don't know. That's weird. banging on about how long it took him to make a fucking playable build of Watch Dogs. I mean, we're talking about a very different game here, bro. It's just like Asteroids Cross Smash. (laughs) Yeah, like multiplayer Asteroids. That sounds about on par with Watch Dogs. Also, the character's name was Texas Joe. Texas Joe. I'm all about Texas Joe. There was the lizard guy and one other dude as well. Three playable characters. I died every single match there. I... I'm hopeless at I that. I have no garbage. point of reference. I'll need to check this shit out in the next um, but yeah, and then me, guys. I'll be right back. No you worries. Again, I'll pop it. Yeah, pop it, Elliot. Sure Everything's the, going bro- well. The, your bruiser gets inside. So yeah. then, yeah, we played duped. Uh, no, we didn't play duped. We talked about Dupe duped. Because right. Elliot Dupe has... Is dope. Yeah. Dig it damn sure. Elliot has it. duped on his Switch. So we talked about duped. And we talked about how... They actually spent a really long time animating the eyes and the mount, oh, not the mounts, but the eyes and the um, like the squares of of duped characters to make you feel empathy for them, right. and then you start murdering them. Oh, um, good! You humanize like, them, and then you start to kind of lemming style again. And so we saw some people playing the demo, which you can get on Switch for free, and they were saying that the demo is completely different or all original content from the rest of the game so that you don't get into the... You don't play the demo, then go into the puzzle game and be like, oh, i got to do these levels again. Like, yeah. it's all new, which is awesome. That's pretty good. Um, and then we played... Well, we then we set up for an interview, um, which you guys will see. We recorded a sweet little interview. And then... Uh, yeah, it was dope. It You'll was a really it. cool little interview. I'm and sorry, then, like, he was so nice as well. He's like, do you just want to chat or like... What yeah, do you that want? guy. And we were just like... Can Ruben, shout out to you, Ruben. Seriously. Yeah. They have some sick pins. I want to go Lots back and cool get it. Uh, download Duped. It's so fun. It's so like, you'd never feel bad about killing a square with an eyeball until you play Duped. Yeah, really <laughs> weird. But then um, then we played 
Beam Team. Beam which, Team. Which, um, if you head onto their yes. Twitter account, you will see the arcade for it. And I filmed a bit of it as well. It looks so cool. The arcade uh, machine is made of two giant wheels that you turn to move where your character's going. And then you have two buttons, one in the middle of the wheel and one um, to the side. And it was like the simplest controls, but it was so much fun. Yeah. And we got a few levels in, but ultimately we suck, so... Not yeah, we yeah. sucked at that, but we can get way past. But we could, yeah. But you know what? I think that's it. I think that is it. I think that it is time to wrap up our day one of mm. PAX twenty nineteen. Thank you so much Guys, for watching. We've had about like Hayden ten to you're not stealing years. cat. Fuck you. What? Uh, yeah, no way, dog. Poaching cat. Poaching cat. Sorry, uh, <laughs> JMH. Uh, I don't know what <laughs> game you mean, but <laughs> Elliot. Uh, oh, Elliot. Hayden reckons he's he's, he's on it. Oh, nay. He's not poaching. No, that's why I said, yeah. Um, this look, is like JMH, a bl- blood the games brotherhood, that we, man. The games that we went over last was This Starry, this Starry Void. Void which won't be one. out for about 12 months. Yes. But man, like... That it was doesn't even have a Steam page yet. Yeah. Um, no. no. Keep an eye on it. Sharonix. Uh, I'll find the Twitter. You talk. Very, that's very cool. It. But we're going to wrap this one up. This has been the very first day of PAX for 2019. And mm. you know what? To be honest, it's been our first PAX in general. And I think we've tried to make the absolute most of it. We've done well. We yeah. had a huge day. Just to mention, uh, we also went to a Destiny 2 uh, panel. Um, it was... It's que- the best it's part of it was questionable. was the ScoMo meme. The ScoMo meme <laughs> with three eyes and a high of reference. Yeah. O- overall, like, don't. Don't oh, but I no, nah, no. Nah, it was fine. Like it, it depends on until, how like, invested you long. are into the community. Um, like the voice actor and the dev that was there were so professional. They, they were had amazing, very cool answers. Um, there was a the charity was option great. at the end. Oh, was it like um, like question Q and A kind of thing? There yeah, was a Q and A. The audience well. was a bit. Oh god! As always, audience questions. That's why we don't tag Destiny in this video? We're yeah. not one of the audience this. questions can always <laughs> uh, like venture into that section where it's like the person that you're asking cannot answer that question and you kind of know that before you asked it oh, so yeah. you should have just asked a, something like, a little different coming in? Like, um, um, but uh, <laughs> then I also got a Gambit coin it's going to be on PS5 yeah. I got a yes, Gambit it. coin I'm going to not learn how to we'll do we'll probably do it an overall uh, live stream or show that's like you know we're going to do each day Yeah. then we'll probably do an overall highlights of the best thing yeah. and yeah. we'll have interviews and stuff coming out as yeah. well There's and we're going to try and pump out as much content as possible that's so it. please like and subscribe there is mad big dick energy coming from Spawn respawn also, here in our little hotel room one thing more sorry jmh uh follow chironic studios that's c-h-i-r-o-m-e-x uh. studios uh oh just look up <laughs> just look up this starry void on twitter um they're really cool do it, dude, 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 seriously that it. game has so much potential it that could be amazing. like the next and you know what i know i just said? say this because they this look similar be it gone. could be the next void bastards because that shit's on game i Pass. just want to say chironic's you deserve to be on game. I just want to say one more thing about that game. Look, on. When you look out the windows, it's got like this purpley blue star, yeah. which is exactly like like our backgrounds on our business card. Ooh. But um, he was saying that he wants it to be dynamic, so it shows you where you are in the solar yeah. system and stuff. And I was his like, poor artist. So I swear, sick. his artist was like, oh, his artist fuck, was like, oh duh. no, you just promised that to some random dude who's gonna put it on the podcast. Now I have to do it's it. Like, it's out there in the world now. Yeah. But overall, guys, that was our day one. Packs. What a fucking great day. 2019. Amazing. Sorry we As talked about Cyberpunk. We just go on and on and on. We went to go for an hour. <laughs> We're at an hour and 15 minutes. We're doing quite all right. So listen, uh, listen ch- actually, you know what? Tune in for day two. We're going to be hitting Tomorrow. that shit up. It's going to be, again, massive dick energy. But thank you. Thank you, all of you, for tuning in yes. and hitting the like button and hitting subscribe because you know what's good for you and you know what's good for us. So thank you. Yes. But, any closing remarks before we That's close it, this dudes. shit off? Let's go get smashed. Let's go get smashed. But also, <laughs> before we do so, guys, I would love it if you could go <coughs> ahead, hit like on this video, hit Share. subscribe for... Oh, I nearly knocked it over again. Don't do that. All right. Hit subscribe <coughs> for Spawn Respawn. Follow us on Twitter at Spawn Respawn PC. Follow and you know what? On Instagram and Spawn Respawn. Everywhere. And Facebook. Spawn and Respawn Facebook. Podcast. I know Just it's different everywhere. on every fucking plug. platform. Plug. Plug. Write us, plug. And plug. Write us into your will because when you die, we want all of your money to go towards m- new microphones. You know what the them. most important thing would be? Go and share this with your friends. Please. And Please. just say, so this, just give us a five-star rating on iTunes, but also share it. Spread it around. We love it's you. true. We are but a humble Newcastle-based sport. Free press. Oh, 
free press. Also, we met Skill Up so. and YouTube. We did meet Skill Up. Um, he was a legend and Sam super from nice. Layman Gaming. So yeah, if Ralph, you guys watch this, which you probably won't, as if you will. Thank you still. for watching. Also, it was super cool to meet you. You guys were <coughs> legit. But anyway, thank you again for tuning in to Spawn Respawn. This has been our day one coverage of PAX 2019, and you know what, guys? That is all from us. So Spawn Respawn says peace. Peace. Bye. See you tomorrow.